In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a website step by step with no steps skipped. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm not going to assume that you know anything, any coding, HTML, CSS. Luckily, we're not going to need any of that anyways. And this is going to be an amazing website. It's not going to be a website that you're going to get from a big company that's going to charge you $100 a month. It's actually going to be a website that a lot of good people, uh, it's going to be built on the same platform that a lot of good people use like uh, Mashable, CNN, Forbes, Jay-Z, Katy Perry, TechCrunch, uh, GM, UPS, eBay, Sony. You get the point. It's going to be the same platform. But first we have to learn a little bit about um, how the internet works. So let's go over to my illustration. And obviously this isn't, you know, exactly how the internet works. It's a very simple version of it, my version of it, just to get you to understand how, uh, what you need and uh, what you need to get a website going. All right, so let's pretend that uh, you want to go to google.com. So you type in uh, www.google.com and your website, your computer goes there. Then google.com says, oh, where do I get this information from? And basically, it gets it from this server. And so the google.com goes to the server and it selects, let's say, their homepage file. Let's say this is it right here. And that file gets transferred, whoops, that file gets transferred over to your computer screen. So the things we need are a domain name, like google.com, that'll be www.yourwebsite.com. You need a computer, I hope you have that one already. And you need um, server, a server or another computer that's online 24 hours a day. Now this server, it's also known as hosting. So the, really the two things you need is, one, a domain name, www.yourwebsite.com. Two, some place to store the files for your website. This image right here, it's, uh, you know, the Google homepage, it's just a file. It's just uh, one of these files. And um, it gets transferred to your computer right there. So we need a domain name and a server slash host. So let's see how we get those. I almost forgot to talk about the most important thing. How much is all of this going to cost? So the Domain name, that's going to cost you about $11 a year. The hosting is going to cost you about, um, I would say, $10 a month. So everything in total to get started is going to be about $21. You, now you are going to have a monthly fee of about $10 a month, um, but that's just the cost of having a website and you can put many 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 domain names onto one uh, server also known as the host. A server is something that uh, serves up websites and it's the same thing as your hosting. So this is the uh, priority list of what we're gonna go over. We're gonna go first we're gonna get a domain name and we're gonna get that from godaddy.com then we're going to get hosting, and we're going to get that at HostGator.com, really good people. And then we're going to uh, get the domain name to uh, link to the hosting so that when you go to yourwebsite.com, it knows to get the files from uh, wherever your host is. Then after we link them together, we're going to install WordPress. And then we're going to set up and explain it to uh, make it exactly how you want your website to be. All right, so let's get started. First, let's go to godaddy.com to get your new .com or 
info or .net or .org name. Um, a lot of times when you do this, you'll see that um, the website isn't available. So you, sometimes you have to be creative about it. Um, it's good to have in your website the some keywords that people would search for to find you. So I would make maybe put how to make a website dot com. And we search for it and it's probably taken. Yep, it's taken. So maybe we could get a little more specific and say how to make a WordPress website dot com. And that's also taken. Okay. How to make a website in WordPress.com. Okay. A very long domain name, but I think uh, you get the point. Yours probably won't be as long. It'll probably be something much better or maybe your business name. So we have how to make a website in WordPress.com. Make sure your spelling is right. And go to continue to registration. And now that I said that I wasn't ever going to skip a step, you're going to have to wait for me to fill all this out. All right, and then now it says your domain settings, and it says registration length. Just do one year. You always get the first chance at renewing your registration, and they give you like a 60-day grace period, and they remind you a bunch of times, so you might as well just do one year. And um, make sure that everything is correct. We're going to set up name servers later, and I'm going to explain that later. It's basically what your hosting is called. So remember this. It says to get hosting, get your server. Right now we're getting our domain name. It says to get your hosting, and that's um, your hosting is called something. So your hosting uh, server computer is going to be called something. It's going to be called like ns129.hostgator.com and we're going to be uh you can set the name servers that's what your the name of your server name server is called and once you set it there then uh when you go to your website.com it knows to get the files from the hosting i hope that makes sense anyways do the registration link for one year and press next And I don't select any of this privacy whatever stuff, so just click next again. And don't do any of this either, you know, um, and then just skip all of this and press next. Make sure nothing's selected. I hate GoDaddy for doing this, making it so hard. And we see that it comes out to 12.17. So I guess I lied. I guess this is $12.17. All right. And everything looks good. So we will continue to check out. And uh, I do already have a customer login, but I'm going to say I don't. Um, but then we're just going to put our password, my password in here. Password hint. Pin. And make sure the emails are right. And I want to receive... No, no, 
no. And no. All right, continue to check out. And uh, put in your credit card number or whatever. I'm just going to do PayPal because it's quicker. And say that you've agreed to the terms and conditions and place the order. Thank you for your order. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can um, get our login name and log in, hopefully. and see what kind of domains we have. Domain management, right down here. All right, it says we have no domain information. So um, I guess let's go check our email. And we don't have anything in our inbox either, so let's go back to GoDaddy. It says we're logged in. Domains. Domain management. Oh, there it is. It just took a little while to come up. Okay, that was weird. All right, so I guess it just takes a little while to come up sometimes. Uh, but there we have it. We have our domain name. How to make a website in WordPress.com. That's a mouthful. All right. And it has all of my information and everything in here. So the second thing we need to do now is, now that we got a domain name, is to get hosting. Let's do that next. Let's go to... HostGator.com. This is one of the biggest hosting companies, just like GoDaddy is one of the biggest domain registrar companies. All right, once we're here, just go ahead and click on Web Hosting. And you can see that it starts at $3.96 a month, but what I think it is, is um, if you want to do month to month, then it's seven dollars and sixteen cents a month. So we're just gonna go with the hatchling plan, and we could compare all the all the hosting plans here. And we see that the hatchling allows one domain name. So if you're if you want to get uh, more than one domain name, you want to have like your website.com and your friend's website.com and your friend's 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 website.com, then get a baby plan which has unlimited domains you know allowed. But since we're just going to do uh, this one, and we're actually just going to cancel it, sorry, HostGator, we're just going to get uh, one. So, But I, I do recommend getting uh, the baby plan. And it's actually only a couple cents more, so we might as well just get that here. And then click Order Now. And then it says, uh, do you have a domain name? You want to register one? No, we already did that at HostGator. And so we have a current uh, domain name. And I actually forgot exactly what. I think it's, forgot exactly what it's called. So let's go to my domain. Oh. Domain management. Uh, 
and how to make a website in wordpress.com okay how to make a WordPress site in wordpress.com so yeah we have an existing domain name and it's called how to make a website in wordpress.com yours would be called something different obviously What I really like about HostGator is you can always do live chat, and uh, I think they're available 24 hours a day, and they're actually really good. I've asked them some pretty complex questions, and they're, uh, they're always there to help you. All right, username. We're just going to do it on PayPal again because that will be quicker. Oops. I already have hosting with them, so I can't put my other uh, name in there. Then we have live support that's free, always, money back guarantee. I'll probably be taking that. Sorry, guys. And uh, okay. All right, perfect. So I guess it's $9.95. And we have a coupon credit. So this is going to be $7.96. $7.96. Alright, so it does come out to be about $21 again, like I said. And then press create account. And I'm just going to click pay now. All right, and hopefully now we have email, which we don't again. Okay. All righty, now what are we doing? Oh, there we go. We finally got our uh, sales thing. And this is all very important information. So we have our control panel uh, with username and this crazy password. And these are our name servers, which is the name of your server. So that allows you, um, if we go back to our other uh, picture we can see here that uh, the name of the server would be something like let's see where that picture is so this is the name of the server and um, 
in the setting some, somewhere for this domain name, it says that the name servers are this. You know, somewhere in this domain name, it says the name servers are that. And then it goes to And then it goes from there, you know, and it tells it to go here and get the information from here. And then that information is sent to you. So we have to somewhere in the GoDaddy settings set the name server to this so it knows to get the files from here. And so it tells us that these are the name servers. So let's go back to GoDaddy.com, <clears throat> and it's at uh, after you log in to GoDaddy with your domains, you go to Domain Management, and <clears throat> and from there we click on our domain name, and it says to it says name servers. So right here, we're gonna set name servers. and say I have specific name servers for my domain. Then we're gonna go back to the HostGator email and it says name server one. We're gonna copy that and paste that into name server one. And then it says name server two. We're gonna copy that and paste that into name server two. All right, now this tells uh, when you type in uh, how to make a website in WordPress, it says to get the information from this server, which we just purchased on HostGator. All right, and then press OK. It says your changes have been submitted. These changes usually take two hours. However, it can take up to 48 hours. I've never actually waited 48 hours for it to take effect. It probably will take about two hours. So I'm going to go uh, take a break and keep the screen exactly how it is. And I will see you in two hours. All right, it's been about one hour, but I checked on a different uh, computer and everything seems to be up and running. So if we go to our website, we'll just check it out. We see that actually HostGator is uh, it linked up and everything. So uh, this goes to GoDaddy and then uh, it points to the HostGator server. So once we do that, we can log in in our control panel. And it asks for a username and password. and it logs us in. Now, um, since we only have one domain name, it already knows that uh, the website is there, but if we uh, had multiple domain names, then we would need to add on a domain, and that is over here, add on domains. So, don't do this now, but if you had a other domain name, you just uh, enter it there and press add on domain. But since we only have uh, one domain name and we already entered it, we don't need to do it. So now that once we've done that, uh, we want to, after we logged in, we want to uh, go down to Fantis Fantastico Deluxe. And this is uh, allowing us, so we got a domain name, we got hosting, we linked the domain name with the hosting, now we're installing WordPress. So, all right, and then we click WordPress right here, and we put new installation. How to make a website in WordPress. Okay, install directory. 
we're just going to leave this empty because we want it to be on the main site. If you wanted to set up a, a different site, you could do slash blog if you wanted to make it a blog, and it'll install onto how to make a website in WordPress.com slash blog. But since we don't need to do that, we just install it in the root directory or just leave this blank. Okay, administrator username, I like to do admin. Password, let's do password. Add name, nickname, just do the same, email. Um, I'm gonna put my real email address. Site name, how to make a website in WordPress. Description, making it easy, I don't know, okay. And then just click install WordPress. All right, now once we have uh, WordPress installed, uh, we just click finish installation. Okay. And you could send the installation to uh, your email, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to our website right here. Oh, it's not installed yet because we have to go to wp-admin. Okay. And that is, you're going to want to memorize that, that uh, wp-admin is where uh, you log into the back end. All right, now once we're logged in, go to our main website, and we have how to make a website in WordPress. There it is. Now the uh, first thing you want to remember is how to log into your website. And what you do is you go to yourwebsite.com slash wp-admin. And it takes you to the login area. Put in your username and password. And we go back to our site. And if you see this bar up here on top, then you're logged in. Uh, that's not usually not there unless you're logged in. All right, now I'm going to go over exactly what you're seeing here. So here, uh, this website, the default website, is set up so it's like a blog. So this is a blog entry right here. And if we click on it, we could go to that blog entry, and you can see that someone made a comment. We can make another comment if we want. And we post the comment, and we see that since we're logged in, it's the admin and says hello, and it's uh, maybe responding to this person or whatever. But what if we don't want our website to look like this at all? We don't like this image here, and, and we don't even need a blog. Uh, and we want the sidebar either to be gone or we want to change it. And uh, maybe we don't even like this whole theme. Maybe it's just ugly. So uh, we go into our dashboard. And before I do anything, I want to explain uh, what everything here on the left is. And that's where you're primarily going to be working. Uh, so go into our dashboard. And we can see that we have post. And post is the same thing as a blog post. So we see that hello world is here. And if we click post, we can see that uh, we have hello world. And if we click it, we can see the actual whole hello world page and you can leave a comment and everything. Uh, if you want to add a new post just click add new. Alright and this is the uh, title of it and this is the what's going to be in the body and later I'll show you how to add in images and ABC check and everything. Make sure it's on visual so you don't need to do the, any HTML code. And just click publish right here. Now if we go back to our website and refresh it, we can see that there's a new entry. Hello YouTube people. 
And we can keep on going and go back to post. We see that we have two here now, and we can add a new one. And then just click Publish. And if we go back to our website, we can see that we've added two more. And we can keep on going. So this is like blog format. On our website, we're not going to have any blog pages, but I just wanted to show you uh, how to do that. This is a sample page. This would be like, not a blog, this would be like an about us, contact us, see our services, that type of deal. So we can go here and we see that it's a sample page. If we go back to our dashboard, we see that post is here and pages is right here. So let's add a new page. We'll call this services. and click publish. Now if we go back to our website, we see that we have a sample page and a services page. And we can see that you can leave a comment if you like. And later if you don't want them to be commenting on your services page, which you probably shouldn't, then we can learn how to disable this comment. Let's go back to the dashboard. What if when we go to our website, we don't want a blog here at all? We want our sample page to be our home page. Well, it's pretty easy to set up. What you do is go into the dashboard and on the left side, you click reading. Once you're in there, it says front page displays, you click a static page and you click sample page then you click save changes now we can see if we go to this page that our sample page is our home page and this completely takes off the blog but what if we want uh, our blog post to be the other page we could do that too now we have another page and it's our blog. It took off all the content and put our blog there. All right, but we're just gonna go back to nothing and keep our sample page as our home page. And here are additional settings for the blog if you like. The next thing uh, we can do is what if we didn't like this giant header or we just wanted to change it? Let's go back to our dashboard and we can see header right here under appearance. Now we can choose a random or just one of these pictures or we can remove header completely. And let's press save changes. Now we go back to our website and we see the header is removed and it's looking more like a professional website. Now that we've learned a little more about the difference of blog post and regular pages like about us, uh, contact us, services page, uh, let's learn how to edit the pages better. So we can, uh, let's add a new page and that will be our title and we get some dummy content in there, just whatever, you know. And this is how to uh, add an image. We go up here and then we click this little button right here, add an image. And we can select files and uh, see what they look like. Let's go with this one. And we can have it linked to the file itself, but uh, we're not going to. And we can align it different ways. Uh, align none 
we'll make it so that the text goes under the image, but we want it to align it left so that uh, the text goes to the right of the image, so this picture gets aligned to the left, and we'll do the full size, and we'll insert into post. Now we can click publish, and view our page. This is a new page, and we see that we have the image here, and it's a line left and it goes into a nice little box. WordPress does that for you. And you can add a comment if you want. But what if you want to set up a page? What if this is like your service page and you don't want comments? So what we do for that is we go to screen options right here and we check discussions. And this uh, puts it so that the discussions is visible here. And we just uncheck allow comments and press update. Now we can view the page, and we can see that this page has no comments, where this page does. Another cool thing we could do is we could do ABC check, and it says I pretty much have all those words spelled wrong. We can also uh, maximize this view, make it full screen if we want which is very nice. And uh, we can go into HTML if you know any code and uh, mess around with that. We can also make things link to each other. Let's say I want this to a link. And uh, let's say I want it to link to the services page. Add the link. We can add a list. And that's a bullet list. That's a numbered list. We can put in uh, some quotes if we want. Make this into a quote. We can make things bold and italic. Strike through. We can align this paragraph right here to the right if we want. And uh, we can align this one or this one if we want in the center. And uh, there's a lot more options if you click this one right here. So we can uh, make it a heading. We can say And we can make it an H1, which is the biggest heading. And we can make, you know, something else an H2 or 3. Go line that back left. Make this an H3. And we can uh, underline it or change a different font of it. or erase formatting or insert a custom character let's say we want uh, that one we could also indent something if we want uh, let's see where that go indent there you go and uh, those are just some of the options that WordPress offers in this little uh, visual editor. It's pretty cool. Click update. Let's see what kind of damage we did. See, now that's a link to the services page. Uh, that's a list. See our H1 and our H3. We have our underlined. We have it in green. This is a quote, this is uh, centered, and we can right align it too if we want. So those are just some of the options that you're allowed to do in both pages and post. Now let's go back to our dashboard. And let's talk about something very exciting. Let's talk about plugins. 
Plugins allow you to extend the functionality of WordPress. So let's say you want a contact form, or maybe you want a shopping cart. We can see, you could put in a shopping cart, or maybe you want a very cool image slider. This you can all accomplish with plugins, and plugins are most of the time they're free. So let's uh, add new, and let's say we want a contact form. So we uh, go down, and uh, I know this contact form, uh, contact form seven, also known as CS seven, is very good, and uh, we can see that contact form seven. We can see that it's there right now. We can see how many stars it got. We can look at the details. And we can see that uh, it's comp compatible with our WordPress. It's downloaded almost 5 million times. And uh, it got 4.5 out of 5 stars on a lot of ratings. And we can see some screenshots. And we click Install Now. And then it says it's successfully installed, and we just click Activate Plugin. So now we have this new contact box right here. And it says, copy this code and paste it into your post or page. So post or page, you can copy this code. So we can copy this code right here. And we can go to our pages. And we can add a contact page. And then just simply paste it in there, just like that, that code, and click publish. Now when we go back to our website, we have a contact us page. And we can see that we have a contact form. Now we can go to edit page and click on the contact and edit the settings. What if we want a different uh, what if we wanted to email somewhere else? Because when they fill out the form, it's going to email somewhere. Or you can say, you know, something different at the where your message is. Or you can add a new tag. Let's say we want a text field. And we can copy it and, you know, copy this code and just follow the instructions of the plugin that says to copy it left right here and copy this one down right here. Click Save. So that's all about plugins, and uh, there are many, 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 many plugins. But uh, some good ones are plugins for uh, image galleries. Uh, we have a Twitter plugin. We can, we have a plugin for the sidebars, and uh, we have many, many, many different plugins that extend the functionality of uh, WordPress. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard. And let's talk about uh, links on your website. If we can see here, if we go to uh, contact us page, we see that it's question mark page ID equals 33. That's not uh, not good for the search engines. It doesn't tell us what this page is about. It doesn't tell the search engines what page is about and can lower your rankings. And it's not good for humans. So let's figure out how to change that. Under settings here, we see something that says permalinks. And it has default p equals a number. Um, if you click on uh, this one, it says name and date. Uh, but what we really want is a custom structure, because I don't want the date in there. I don't want the name. If you're just starting a um, a regular website and not a blog, then if you're starting a blog, maybe you do want uh, uh, day and name in there. But really, I just want name. So what I'm going to do is just erase all of this. So which slash the percent sign, post name, and then percent sign, and then slash again, and then click Save Changes. Now if we refresh, we can see that it says Contact Us up here. And this is very good for SEO, and it's very good for your users. The next thing you need to know is about sidebar widgets. So if we go to our website, we see uh, we don't see any sidebar here. 
and a lot of websites have sidebars that tell you, you know, to subscribe to our newsletter or um, tell you about other things and other offers, and it's very common for a website to have it. To set up uh, sidebars, we can go to Pages, and then just click uh, whatever page you want your sidebar to be. Let's go to um, the sample page, and we click Edit. And right here it says template, default template, but we want it to be a sidebar template. And then just click update. Now we can view uh, the services page, was it? No, the sample page. Sample page. Oh, right, the sample page was the home page. Okay, so we view the sample page, and we see that it does have a sidebar now. And we could do this on any page. We could go to a service page, and we could click edit, and we can go to sidebar template and click update. And now we see that this page has a sidebar. But maybe you don't want uh, archives in it and meta in it, so I'm going to show you how to change this sidebar right here. What you do first is you go back to the dashboard, if you like, and you go to widgets under appearance. Under appearance, it says widgets. And it's the sidebar widget, okay? And it says the main sidebar, okay? That's what we want. So we can go to uh, pages, all the WordPress pages maybe I want in the And we click save and we go back to our website and we see that the pages are there. We can also put in other things like uh, RSS or text or HTML, if you know HTML. And we click save. And then we can see, if we refresh this, that our sidebar is being built. So that is under Appearance, Widgets. There are many different things. You can put a calendar. You can uh, download plugins that have you know more sidebar options, like a Twitter feed or a Facebook uh, like box or a fan box or social icons or whatever you want. You can put that all in the sidebar. What if you don't like the way this website looks at all? You think it's ugly and cheesy and uh, you want nothing to do with it. Well, there are some options for you. Uh, under Appearance again, you can go to Themes and you could click Install Themes. Uh, now we could go to uh, Featured Themes, let's say. And uh, let's say you really like this one. Your website's going to be all about camels and pyramids. You can click Install and Install Now. Then click Activate. Now we go back to our website, re refresh, and we see just how you want it. We have camels and pyramids. All right, and we can see that all the pages look different, but the... Uh, Sidebar is still intact and everything is still good. And they have many, 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 many different themes. So you can search for, you know, a green one if you want, and you get a bunch of green ones. Um, what many web developers do, and they probably don't want anyone to know about is they actually go to themeforest.net there's other websites like this and they go under WordPress and they pick out themes they do cost money but if you want a very professional theme that looks like a web developer charged you thousands because they would um, and you can see that These themes are much better than the free ones, in my opinion. 
and we can see that this website is very nice. As soon as the slider comes up, you'll see that it's very nice. And you have many options of changing the colors, and uh, you can get a quote for some web designers, and they'll charge you from fifteen hundred to three thousand to make you a website that looks like this. But you could just download it, and once you do download it, you know you pay for it thirty-five dollars or whatever it is, and uh, it actually has a pretty cool portfolio and everything. And you can see it, different options, and you usually don't know, need to know any code. Um, and this is what a lot of web developers do. They go to a website like ThemeForest and they get a template, and because you can get it so many here, and uh, they charge their clients much more than it costs them. They pay $35 for something that took uh, you know a guy hundreds of hours to make and the clients happy and they're happy and everyone's happy and what they do is they go here and they go and install themes and they press upload after you buy it you can download a file and then they choose the file and they press install now and once that's available it'll be under themes and then all you have to do is just press activate and then you have a you know thousand dollar or a few thousand dollar website for you know under a hundred dollars and that is what a lot of uh, web developers do and you can do the same thing I hope you liked this video tutorial it was pretty fun to make if you need any more help you can uh, call me at 310-743-3190 or email me at tylermore at gmail.com please remember to like this video if you liked it and add me on Facebook and Twitter, and let me know if you want any more videos. Thanks a lot.